Well, tobacco use remains the leading cause of preventable death and disease in America, killing nearly 480,000 people each year. And a new annual report shows where Mississippi stands with regard to tobacco control measures. And according to this report, we definitely have a long way to go. Joining us now on the 4 o'clock show is American Lung Association Senior Director of Advocacy for Mississippi, Ashley Lyerly, to discuss how our state stacks up in this uh, state of tobacco control report and thank you so much for joining us today Ashley good to have you on the show and uh, doesn't look too good I mean Mississippi is, is ranking pretty low as far as these control measures yes unfortunately in our annual state of tobacco control report um, we evaluate state and federal grades and for Mississippi um, this year unfortunately we're seeing F grades in five categories and unfortunately this is really sort of main sort of been maintaining for the last couple of years. And this is really illustrating the need for state lawmakers to sort of take action. Um, there are policies that we need to be putting into place to really reduce tobacco use across the state of Mississippi. Well, you mentioned those five areas, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. I think we have that list and the, the grade is definitely not very good for Mississippi. It looks at several different areas. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, talk about some of those if you don't mind, yeah. Ashley. No, I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Yeah, certainly if my daughter came home uh, with these letter grades, we would certainly be having a conversation um, about studying habits. Um, but for, you know, for these grades in particular, for smoke-free air, the state, we really need to expand um, the state law related to comprehensive smoke-free air protections. We need to invest in our tobacco prevention and control programs. We need to um, increase our state tobacco tax, because um, we know that as the price goes up, we're going to see a reduction in youth initiation and consumption of tobacco products, and then really making sure people have access to comprehensive um, cessation treatments. Yeah, I know. I thought we had that list because we had the grades, and I think if I'm remembering correctly, I don't have it in front of me. Um, they are all grade, they're all Fs. There we have the Yes, list. yes, yeah, F's, so Fs on as, all five categories. Yeah, That's for fund, funding for programs, the smoke-free workplace laws, taxes, coverage and access to quit and ending sales for all flavored products. So these are all things that you are pushing to change uh, along with the um, American Lung Association? That's correct. I mean, I think this is really just sort of a report card to look at what opportunities there are for legislators to act. I think for this year, really focusing on investing and maintaining our funding for the tobacco prevention and control program, as well as ensuring that we have smoke-free protections for all Mississippians. There's been a lot of work happening at the local level in Mississippi for the last couple of years. We have 178 municipalities that have passed local comprehensive smoke-free air laws, but that doesn't cover all Mississippians. And we really need to um, right. ensure that people are protected. And the smoking rates are still pretty high when you compare it to other parts of the country too, right among adults and high schoolers. That's correct. Mississippi currently actually has higher uh, adult smoking rate than the national average, as well as, um, unfortunately, really significant high tobacco use rates for high schoolers. Um, and a lot of that is attributed to the e-cigarette vaping epidemic that we have and have had for the last couple of years. Yeah, I actually have that in front of me. For adults, it's 19.6% and for high schoolers, 27.6%. So that does sound high to me. People should definitely um, look at this closer. If they're interested in having laws that are more strict, they should um, let their legislators know. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Ashley Lyerly from the American Lung Association. Thank you so much. And now